Welcome to this session on roof modeling. So in this session, we're going to create a sloped roof on our three-story office building. Roofs are actually created and designed with their necessary sloped sections and openings. And then that completed roof design is associated with an existing floor in the project of the building using a setup tool. And of course, we will associate it with our office floor to the last office floor. So the roofs, Tools are on a separate ribbon. Let's select the Roofs tab. You'll notice most of the tools are grayed out until we've actually created the roof. So that's the very first step. So I'm going to select that Roofs tool. We would associate it with a building. We only have the one building, so it'll be the office building. And we're going to select New for a new roof. We'll give the roof a description. So I'm simply going to call it sloped roof. Our roof will have a height. Now that's its kind of its base height. So we know we had three floors in this building that were four and a half meters. So that means our base height would be 13 and a half meters. We can associate a drawing just as we did with our floors. So I'm going to go and browse for that drawing. So you'll see there is also a roof plan and we can select the DGN or the DWG. I'm going to select the DGN and select open. And the model will be the roof plan. And then we're going to select OK. Now that's going to open a sort of temporary model where we're actually going to build the roof. Now I don't need all of these views open. I'm going to, to close let's say two of them, and then simply expand those. I've got a top view here, and I'm going to also select an isometric view. And again, our display style is wireframe. I may leave that for my top view and then change, use that example energy sim display style on my isometric view. And you can see here we have two rectangles indicating our sloped roofs. And if you remember the, the initial image of this building, we're going to have a roof that slopes up in this direction and another one that slopes up in this direction. So we're simply going to start by adding a section. So we select this Add Section tool. And there's two different methods we could use, but we're going to select the 2D points on a plan view. So we simply trace our shape and we put a pitch angle on that and we'll get our sloped roof. So our elevation will be zero because we already set our base elevation when we created this. And then our pitch angle, we're going to put in as 15 degrees. And note here we have a little box check that said the first edge is horizontal and bottom. So that just means we want, as we trace this, we want to start with the bottom horizontal edge. So we're going to use our AccuDraw and AccuSnap. This is similar to, to tracing the stairs. And I'm just going to start down here. I'm going to come up and select the next point up here. So this is our bottom horizontal edge. Then I'm going to come over now. My plan shows a dashed line. That's because our two roofs overlap. So I want to make sure I select that dashed line. That's the, the lower roof, the smaller one. And again, data point, left click. And then I'll come down to the bottom and left click. Once I've finished, I right click to reset. And it creates that roof. And we can see it there in the isometric view. And then we're just going to do the same on the other side for the larger roof. This is the horizontal bottom edge. So I'm going to start up here, select this, select this point. I want to make sure, this is where I might want to make sure I'm, I'm going straight up. I could use my enter key to lock my axis and then I can just snap anywhere along that edge and then a right click 
to reset. And we have our second roof drawn. So now our roof sections are created. I'm going to go ahead and close that dialog and we're ready to do the setup, which will add the roof to the project tree and assign it to our office floor two. So I'm going to go up to the setup icon and we're going to select that office floor two. It's already by default associated the sloped roof at 13.5. So that's exactly what we want. If we had more than one roof design, we could select from the, the pick list there. I'm going to select OK. It will ask if we're sure that we want to do the roof setup. I'll select yes. Now, in this case, we do get a warning saying that the sections of the roof are disjoint because we have these two separate sloped roofs that it may be an improper design but in fact it's the design that we want so I'm just going to select OK and that closes that temporary design model for the roof and opens our model back up and we can see that the roof has been added to the model and note that the the rooms at the office floor two have been projected up to the roof so that really completes our energy model. In the next course, we'll start looking at the data on the model and, and doing some steady state calculations. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.